coming off perhaps its best season in school history, which included the program's first ever Division One NCAA tournament win, as well as its second conference title in three years. The Stony Brook University baseball team and head coach Matt Sank had the same goals as any other year, winning the America East Championship. We haven't uh, discussed much about uh, repeating um, because it's, uh, it's always a, a goal with a program to, uh, to make the uh, conference tournament and to win a championship. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's always a goal from year to year. So there's really uh, hasn't been much talk about uh, repeating and things along those, along those lines because uh, year after year for uh, you know, certainly the last several years especially, we've, uh, you know, we've, we've set as a goal to, uh, to make the tournament, the conference tournament, and then make the NCAA tournament. Tank returned 17 leather winners from a season ago, including his top two starters, junior right-handers Nick Tropiano and Tyler Johnson. It's a tremendous one-two punch uh, that, uh, that really came together last year for us. Uh, and uh, you know, even their freshman year, they did a fantastic job. And, uh, and I think to have those guys come back again uh, for uh, their junior year um, you know, puts us in a good position in the conference. And uh, quite frankly, either of those guys against any opponent uh, gives us a, a tremendous shot to win. So having Tropa Johnson at the front of the rotation is a big plus. I think um, they could go up against any two pitchers in the country. Oh, yes, with their numbers, that we have an uh, extra amount of confidence. Tropa um, goes out there, and no matter who we play against, uh, it's a competition, and he's not willing to lose ever. Um, same with Johnson. He goes out and competes. Those guys will go out and throw 160 pitches if they have to for us to get a W. The Stonebrook offense will look different than the one that hit a lead best 51 home runs a season ago with the losses of Rob Dyer and Mike Steffen. But with four players returning that hit over 300 in 2010, SBU offense will still be dangerous. We lost some, some strong play, offensive players from last year's team, but, uh, but also we bring back a lot. And um, and I think that uh, you know we uh, we can score runs in a lot of different ways. A lot of confidence, uh, especially in our offense. Uh, got a lot of returners. I mean, we missed we lose a cu couple of key guys, but uh, definitely guys that can step in and get the job done. Uh, our offense shapes up a little bit differently this year. Uh, losing two of our bigger power guys, um, our lineup gets significantly faster. Uh, so I think uh, our offense might be changed a little bit. Um, built on speed this year, I feel, uh, and hopefully that's going to help us out a lot. The Seals also welcome a group of talented newcomers that will be expected to contribute immediately. We expect everyone to contribute right away. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, just, again, the kind of the way we, uh, it's our philosophy, and, uh, and that's why I think uh, players choose to come here. They know that uh, they'll be given an opportunity to, uh, to help us uh, be successful right away, and so um, so every newcomer we have uh, will be given that opportunity, and uh, we're expecting uh, for them to to do the things that are necessary and fill in the pieces uh, to help us again be successful. Add that group of newcomers to a group of veterans with championship experience, and the SeaWolves are ready to make another run at the Marquis Championship as the 2011 season gets underway. Been a great core of guys, uh, trying to work hard every opportunity that we got, and uh, I think that our hard work's going to pay off if we all play the role that we're supposed to be played.